All month we have shared stories of black history and tonight we show you living history. A Fox Eyes Alex Whitler journeyed to the Georgia coastal island of Sapelo, where there's an ongoing effort to ensure the people there preserve what their enslaved ancestors worked so hard to attain and to keep. There's a pretty sizable debate happening right now on Sapelo Island. How do you best preserve the past while looking forward to the future? People protect culture by passing it down. This is my culture and this is my home. Pete Wilson was born and raised on Georgia's Sapelo Island. He's Gullah Geechee, an ethnic group from coastal Georgia, Florida, and the Carolinas. They've passed down more of their African culture than any other black community in the U.S. Slavery stifled most others. The Gullah Geechee are known for their basket weaving and their language. Come here, can't tell me you're nothing, because come here and be here long time, the being is gone. These islanders can easily trace their ancestors. They say the island itself embodies their culture. Its future is what's complicated. Their enslaved ancestors once fought to own land on Sapelo. Today's descendants say they're doing the same. The island is 11 miles long, four miles wide, and the state of Georgia owns 97% of it. Your only way there is the 8.30 a.m. ferry. We traveled to Sapelo to tell the people's story, but saw more beaches and buildings than human life. There's a dwindling number of people who were born, raised, and educated right here on this island. To put things into perspective for you, there were about 500 black people on Sapelo in the early 1900s, and there's only about 50 today. Many descendants sell their land and move elsewhere for opportunity and higher education. Each time a piece of property is sold, a lot of times the new owners, they will fence off the existing road or access to the to the river. And there's a story behind everything that I, that I see. Fond memories and painful reminders alike. Maurice Bailey was born and raised on the island. He says his ancestors walked in and out of the doors at this plantation, and some of his relatives still work in the building today. Now it's rented out and known as the Reynolds Mansion after R.J. Reynolds from the tobacco company. He consolidated Sapelo's land from the 1930s to 50s, erasing 14 neighborhoods and displacing the Gullah Geechee to Hog Hammock, the only remaining original settlement. Descendants say they feel pushed out today, too. I've seen a lot as far as what we lost. I'll say what we lost because all the new houses and stuff was a gain, but it, it ain't necessarily a good gain. So how do descendants keep their land? It depends on who you ask. J.R. Grosvenor and other born and raised islanders have sued over a variety of concerns, including job discrimination, increasing property taxes, even ferry docks. The residents resolved their claims against the state. The county claims are still pending. The county and the state are hesitant of helping because if they step the wrong way, there's people um, willing to sue them and already sued them. Bailey chooses to work with the state. As opposed to uh, being negative or uh, suing them. If people don't know the negative, how can we get help fixing the negative? I reached out to McIntosh County Commissioner Roger Lotson. He's a descendant and says he recognizes an increase in property value results in an unavoidable increase in property taxes, but hopes current descendants who own property on Sapelo will continue to. That's where the descendants we spoke to agree. We want to stop selling the property. If descendants decide to build a foundation for a descendant to be able to live on the island to afford to pay the property taxes on the island. Where does the disparity come from? Whether or not people are willing to participate in a lawsuit? Everybody's fighting for the same cause, but that whole thing where it's trying to divide us. Instead of just teaming up together, and making something really happen. A complex situation we've only scratched the surface of in this report. One that's been passed down to generations through perseverance and preservation. Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News.